Get him! Attention units, Love drug it. deal reported. Need the officer to check it out. Additional officers requested near Flatiron. Herman. Seriously? Give it up! You're never gonna catch me! That's what you said last time. I don't wanna hurt you! You'll just slow me down! Wow, that's considerate. What's the money for, Herman? Why do you care? Actually, I don't. Just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done talking! But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level! Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Come on, Herman! At least talk to me so we can make it interesting! <laughs> Got you. Now let's talk. I said I'm done Noted. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah, I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Hey, Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah. Whenever, whatever. I guess we're talking again. Cool. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack.
Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. I could patch these shoes. They'll last well. I never used to feel safe at the other shelter. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. What, what is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. 
Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. Hot stuff, come and I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. <laughs> Are you okay, ma'am? Carmen, and I'm fine. It's my husband, Rodrigo. He's been acting weird, and I just found out he's meeting this woman. Well, listen, I'm not the best person to help with relationship problems. It's not like that. I think she's involved with bad people. Rodrigo might be in real trouble. He's scared, but he won't tell me anything. I can check it out. Any idea when he's meeting her next? Tonight, by the detox center in Greenwich. Okay. Don't worry, Carmen. I'll find out what's going on. Detox center's not far. Carmen just sent me Rodrigo's picture. Let's see if I can find him. Rodrigo. He's really nervous. That woman doesn't seem like a girlfriend. I'll get a photo and see if Carmen recognizes her. You better not hold anything back. Why would I? Bad angle. Need to get it straight on. Give me the plans and it won't. Got it. Very nice. Looks good. Remember, tell anyone about this. And I leak the photo. Plans. This sounds bigger than I thought. I better follow the blackmailer and find out how big. Carmen, I'm uploading a photo to you. Does this woman look familiar? No, I've never seen her. What were they talking about? This sounds like she's blackmailing him. She mentioned something about plans. My husband works security at a casino in Atlantic City. She could be planning a heist. But I'll need more evidence before I can do anything. Let me know if I can help. All right. I'm gonna see where she's taking the plans. I'll be in touch. Another victim or an accomplice? I need a photo. No perches with a good angle on this new guy. Looks like it's the underside of the High Line. Perfect shot. Saw the photo, he fell in line. Rodrigo always was a son. Boss will be at it. Let's see the plans. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta catch my train. I don't want to keep the boss away from us. That's gonna be our biggest score yet. Hell yeah. How many people are in on this? I've got to follow him. Where is he getting off? Uh, tapping into the train system should help me follow the train's path. Carmen, the blackmailer met some guy under the High Line. Sounded like you knew your husband. I'm sending you the photo. That's Deshaun. 
Rodrigo's best friend from college. He went to prison years ago on a robbery charge. Casino plans and a criminal record. Not a great... Combination. I need to find out who else is in on it. If they're hitting the casino, they'll need at least a wheelman and a safe cracker. I watch a lot of heist movies. Sounds like it. I'll let you know what I find out. should head over near the subway exit. Wait for him to get out. He's heading for that office building. on the map. I am in this ride. Practically a kid. My brother's kid. You can't trust him. Anyway, it's done. He's already picking up our city. All right. Roman's ready and we are running late. Let's roll. They're on the move. I have all the evidence I need. Now I just have to stop that car. I love it when a plan falls apart. Hey, Carmen. Your husband's pal and his team just had their trip to beautiful Atlantic City camp. Thank you. I spoke to Rodrigo. That blackmail photo shows him driving the night Deshaun committed the robbery. But Rodrigo didn't know about it. He was just picking up his friend. I've got a contact on the force. She'll help Rodrigo. Especially if he'll agree to testify about the blackmail. He will. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I, mean, I didn't forget, forget, I just, I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> His tardiness is starting to become a pattern. 
Come on, Parker. You're better than this. He's <sighs> right. How did I lose track of time? robbery at Roseman's auction house. What you probably... like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. No. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment at Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Do something to help Doc. And call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. Even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. Should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. <laughs> 